we got to really play in the sandbox together, but like we did. <laughs> and it was great. This army of clowns, you know, <laughs> these really skilled clowns, it's so enjoyable. It's, it's fascinating to be on set with people that smart, that sharp, that clever. I mean, I love Andy. I like uh, his worlds and I feel very at home in the way that I guess like in his language and in the way he explores themes that I'm also interested in exploring, like loss and disappointment and also being alive and also love. And I, I just really love how he comes at it from a way I would never expect. You know, you think you're watching a show about a couple um, trying to save their marriage and solving this mystery. And then you get involved in this mystery, but actually it's about how all these people deal with the disappointment of time and the disappointment of getting older and also the beautiful things that come with that and also loss and all these things. And um, I just love the way his brain works. No work, no stress, no regrets. When would you see where this leads us? This phone belonged to a kid who went missing down here 15 years ago. Past projects, you know, have all had their own challenges that I didn't think that I was going to be able to meet. And um, and I think that coming into this one where the story was such a, it was it's such a strange story and it doesn't really follow like a, a formula or, a, you know, uh, a, a vibe in any way. So it's like, I, I felt really out of my element in a lot of ways and like am I, am I doing anything that makes sense or works and but then just sort of staying the course and staying committed so I think maybe that um because you just don't have the prep that you normally have when you're doing a play or something like you know where you're just like beating it with your castmates and just kind of figuring things out um you're just kind of going in there you're making some choices and you're hoping that it connects with everybody sam and his mom and his dad and his girlfriend arrived at this resort on christmas night but then the next morning he's gone later on this other guest from the resort was also reported missing do you want to get out of here my daughter wanted to spend christmas here but she didn't want to spend it with me I think Baltasar and Luna are like the, yeah, like the connection between present and past, you know, like they, we, they had the chance of experience the golden days of this resort, you know, like this, this nostalgia, these beautiful golden days where everything was perfect, you know, like when the resort was beautiful and everything was love and joy and laughter and the first experiences they're doing, you know, like when they're, do, they're doing drugs and they're going on parties and they're, they're like calling the shots in this beautiful place. And then this horrible thing happens and this hurricane destroys everything and they need to to start from zero, you know, like they're completely different people. They are depressed, they they have broken dreams, um, but they have this second chance of solving this crime or this mystery with these two uh, fresh, uh, also broken characters coming from the US. And uh, yeah, I guess uh, they, just became, they just become a team, a really random, goofy team of people trying to solve this really complex mystery about yeah disappointment of, of time which i think it's it's a very fascinating topic and if you can talk if you, if you can talk about that with comedy i feel like that that's that's genius no i'm gonna get some answers <laughs> hey come back here but what if there aren't any answers well there have to be because otherwise what is the point Oh, favorite onset memory. You know, like folks always ask this and I literally wipe the drive as soon as I get home. You know, honestly, there was a day in uh, a lazy river that we that we had that, uh, you know, like we were both very nervous about 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 shooting. And um, we, you know, it was we actually wound up having a blast, and um, it was it was a lot of fun, a lot of a, uh, a lot of, a lot of Ben saying really funny things on accident. I mean, and we also had some coping mechanisms that helped us deal with that day, and it was a, uh, it was great. It was great. I, I I had a really good time. There's a scene that is in episode five 
where it's the four of us and it's this, I, I don't want to give it away, but it's like a, a very, a scene about- Interrogation. Interrogation, but like what, why we're all here. And yeah. it plays like a play. And it was one of my favorite days because I just got to sit there and watch three actors who I think are so brilliant. And like, this sounds so like actory and stupid, but like we got to really play in the sandbox together, but like we did. <laughs> and it was great. I remember going home at the end of that day and being like, oh, right, this is why I love to do this. Like it's so many things go into making something and or having, or just from job to job, project to project, everything is so different. But then those days where you can just exist as these people other than yourselves and yourselves as well, it feels like very mystical. It just is very beautiful. And it was like a real highlight was that scene. Honestly, every single day on set, uh with Christine and Will and uh, Nick Offerman, uh, also the rest of the cast, but this army of clowns, you know, <laughs> these really uh, skilled clowns, it's so enjoyable. It's, it's fascinating to be on set with people that smart, that sharp, that clever, hearing these stupid, brilliant things all the time, you know, like I haven't laughed that much on a set in years because I also been like leaning more into doing you know like Narcos Mexico and dramas and really heavy shit and suddenly it was so beautiful to to be able to do something this deep but also that funny you know that just have fun on set and if I need to pick one uh, it's definitely the, the dance sequence in episode three like that that um, that party with all the people working in the in the hotel it was just so much fun because I'm a terrible dancer and I needed to play being like Madonna in the 80s, you know, like, so it was it was a lot of fun to, to you know, just, you know, just go silly and crazy and dance in a, like in a Mexican wedding for eight hours. So yeah, that was, that was fun.